Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Those Vegan Chefs. I'm Stefan, and this channel is dedicated to making you a better vegan cook. Today we're making Italian-style tofu meatballs. Firm tofu, silken tofu, combined, and braised in red sauce. So let's make it. The first step in making our Italian-style tofu meatballs is dicing a quarter cup of onions. We're gonna use our microplane grater to grate four cloves of garlic. Heat a pan over medium heat. Add two tablespoons of olive oil. Add the small diced yellow onion. Add the four cloves of grated garlic. Season with a quarter teaspoon kosher salt. Continue to cook over medium heat, stirring the pan for two to three minutes. We're looking to start to sweat the onions and garlic, having them release their natural liquids. Add one teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper. Add a quarter teaspoon of red chili flake. I really like that little bit of spice in a meatball. It's time to cook the tofu. Start crumbling the tofu into the sauteed onions. Just start breaking it up into small pieces. Using a fork, continue to mash the tofu, breaking it into smaller and smaller pieces. We're looking to help release the liquid that's stored in the tofu, and we're looking to have the tofu pieces small enough that we could form really beautiful meatballs. Continue to stir the tofu mixture. We're looking to make sure the liquid's reducing, and we're also helping to break up the tofu as we're stirring. We wanna make sure that we're really incorporating all the flavors into the tofu. After stirring and cooking for two to three minutes, it's time to start adding and building flavors in the meatballs. First, we're gonna add one teaspoon of molasses. Next, we're adding one tablespoon of tomato paste. We're gonna to continue to cook and stir for another three to four minutes. We really wanna make sure that we cook the tomato paste and incorporate all of the flavors into the tofu. Chop three tablespoons of parsley. Add the chopped parsley to the tofu mixture. Turn the heat off and stir to combine to make sure the parsley is evenly distributed throughout the mixture. Place the tofu mixture on a plate. Then we're gonna place that plate in the refrigerator for five to 10 minutes. The key to these meatballs is to make sure that our tofu mixture is cold before we add our potato starch and our breadcrumbs. In this step, we're essentially forming what is called a panade. It is a mixture of silken tofu, six ounces, with a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of potato starch. We're gonna mix those three ingredients together until they form a really thick paste. A panade is a classic technique to bind ingredients. So this is gonna be our binder. It's what's gonna hold the tofu meatball together. Add the cooled, cooked tofu mixture to our panade. At this point, we wanna vigorously stir and mix the mixture of the tofu that's cooked and our tofu panade together. We wanna to make sure that we start to really activate the gluten in the breadcrumbs and start having the meatball kind of come together and starting to stick and form into like one big meatball. It's best practice to let this mixture sit for five minutes before we start forming our meatballs. This helps all of the starches to hydrate and start to stick together. Step one in forming our tofu meatballs, we're gonna take about a cup of panko breadcrumbs and place them on a plate. Gather up roughly two to two and a half ounces of tofu meatball mixture. Start to form the meatball in your hand, about a ping pong size again. We're gonna place that formed tofu meatball on the plate with the panko breadcrumbs. Yeah. Completely coat the tofu meatballs with the panko breadcrumb. We're looking to press the panko into the side of the tofu meatball. Also, we're looking to make sure it's holding the shape of that ping pong size ball. Then place that panko coated tofu meatball into the hot saute pan. Continue to coat the tofu meatballs with panko and then placing them into the saute pan. We're gonna cook the meatballs until a very deep golden brown and then we're gonna flip the meatballs and continue to cook again until it reaches that deep dark golden brown. Once the meatball is cooked on both sides, we're gonna remove the meatball from the pan and placing it on a baking sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Place the baking sheet with the meatballs in the oven for 10 minutes. Hey everybody, I wanted to jump in to the video before we add the meatballs to the sauce. If you're enjoying the video, hit the subscribe button. And if you're looking for the full recipe, go to thoseveganchefs.com. You get the entire thing laid out, including chef's tips. So 
Let's add the meatballs to the sauce. See you in the video. It's time to make our easy tomato sauce. We're gonna start by trying to use the pan that we actually cook the meatballs in. Let's go ahead and add a quarter of an onion diced small, four garlic cloves grated on our microplane grater. We're gonna start to stir and saute the garlic and onions. To that, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Next, we're adding a teaspoon of dried oregano. What's not seen in this video clip is I did add one teaspoon of cane sugar to the sauteed onions, garlic, salt, and oregano. This adds another layer of sweetness and an additional layer of umami. To the sauteed onions, we're adding 28 ounces of crushed plum tomatoes. Continue to cook the tomatoes and onions over low heat for 20 minutes. Add a few leaves of fresh basil to the tomato sauce. Stir to incorporate. Gently place the meatballs into the tomato sauce. We're then going to place the entire pan in the oven for 15 minutes. You know everything is looking good when the tomato sauce is bubbling on the outside. It's really kind of reduced down. It's a little bit thick and beautiful. It's time to plate our beautiful Italian style tofu meatballs. We're gonna start by placing a beautiful nest of our spaghetti on the plate. Next, we're gonna add two to three big spoonfuls of that delicious red sauce right on top of the spaghetti. On top of the sauce, we're gonna gently perch a beautiful meatball. Around the meatball, we're gonna sprinkle that chiffonade of basil, bringing all of that beautiful basil perfume to the dish. And there you have it, beautiful Italian style meatballs, braised in red sauce with spaghetti. Talk about the perfect dinner for your next Sunday night meal, paired with a beautiful Chianti. Sounds like a great night to me. Bam, another recipe done, and I am so pumped. You know why I'm pumped? Making meatballs was always one of my favorite things to do. I love the whole process, right? The, the rolling it, the panko, the searing it in a pan, cooking the tomato sauce. I finally have a recipe that I get to do that with again, and I love that. Julie loves it, because now we can make spaghetti and meatballs all the time. Thank you very much for all of your support, all of your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, your cups of coffee. It means the world to us. We're gonna keep cooking. We're gonna keep becoming better cooks. And as always, we'll see you next week.